Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl, Shay Miller, right? And I'm back with another video. And today, I just want you guys to focus on you. Focus on yourself. Focus on your dreams, your ideas. Reevaluate those very things that you're pursuing, but from a different perspective. Are you able to see the whole picture of the idea of the dream that you have been working on? Or only you seeing the small picture. You got to see the bigger picture. Not just the small picture you created up yourself. You got to be able to see the totality of the, the dream and the idea that you've come up with. So, the best thing is to get a grip on your life. Focus on your well-being, your mental capacity, your health, your eating your ideas really focus down like it's like it's june you guys it's june and i know a lot has been going on but we still have dreams uh goals um a life family we still have things to take care of and despite what's going on in the world we still have the things to do okay so we can't lose focus on the things we want okay we can't lose focus on the things that we're pursuing no matter what's going on, things in life are up and down, and so are we in our emotions, in our thoughts, in our uh, feelings, you know, in that realm, we are up and down as well. But one thing about us that should never change is our ideas, our dreams, but what can change is how we go about them, how we choose to pursue them. What has you stagnant on your dreams right now? What is holding you back? What is holding you back from achieving everything you want? And how far have you come from where you once were? Are you very proud of yourself today? You got to look over the things you've accomplished. Look at the things you've done and think, I've never got here if I hadn't matured. If I hadn't made those mistakes. If I hadn't done made those decisions, I wouldn't have been to this place where I am now. And now I am the person I am today and I am so proud of myself. You have to sometimes look in the mirror and talk to yourself and say that I am very proud of me despite mistakes, despite what I may have done, the decisions I may have made, the wrongs that I may have done. Those very things got me to the point where I am today and I am simply proud. So if you can't look at yourself in a mirror and say that you're proud of both wrong, rights, mistakes, anything that you've done, and fully accept yourself for all you are, not just some of you, not just those good parts, not just the kind heart that you have or the ability to give or those good things about you because you, you will be no better than a person who just uses you for what you can give. You have to love yourself in both good and bad despite wrongs or rights and you have to love yourself totally because how could you expect someone else to love you for all you are if you never learn to love yourself for all you are so with that being said i think people need to work on a having a deeper bond with themselves and getting a better understanding of who they are and what they really desire but in that realm you still want to work and focus on your dreams your goals but you know sometimes you have to go about it in a different mindset a different perspective and sometimes taking a step back and really seeing how life is from this point of view and how you used to think and how you used to do things based on how you were when you were younger, when you were like a teen or high school, college, whatever the case may be to your first beginning start as an adult to your age now. Look over your process. Look over your progress. Look back over what you've overcome and see how far have you come over the years and be very happy of that process you really matured you've really grown up now i know that it's a lot of room for growth and for me as well but it's so many opportunities that are going to present themselves in the future so let's prepare ourselves for the things we want so are you preparing for the things you want? And what is keeping you from achieving all the things you want? What is having you stagnant? What makes you feel like you're not getting there fast enough? And you know what? What I learned from my early, like, 19, 18, I learned that, you know, even if you're working two to three jobs, 
You're not going to get there nowhere faster, nowhere sooner. You're just working your body down and making yourself more tired. Working hard, going nowhere fast. That's what I was doing early on in my life. Working hard, getting nowhere fast. And I work myself to the ground and my body sometimes is paying for it, okay? I'm only 25 though, but I grew up working really hard, working like three and, you know, two jobs just to get to my dreams, just to get to where I am now. And I still feel like I'm nowhere, you know? But I've gotten somewhere and I've accomplished a lot of things with the jobs that I did have. And I'm very proud of myself and I'm very glad that I'm where I'm at. But I feel like I could be somewhere else. See, that's the thing is taking yourself out. Stop focusing on you and what you want. Sometimes focus on what you've already done. Focus on what you've already accomplished. Be appreciated of what you've already done. Be appreciative of what you've already overcome. Because sometimes we get so lost up in what we've yet obtained. We forget what we've already of overcome and already obtained. We have to be appreciative of the things that we have and the things that we already done in order to obtain more, to get more enlightenment, to get more knowledge, to get more understanding. We have to understand what it is that we already have and we have to appreciate what it is we already have. So in order to get to a place of fully acceptance, we have to fully accept ourselves and our journeys and what we've been through and who we once were and our mistakes, our flaws, our wounds, everything about ourselves, like everything. Even the people that come in our life and really messed us up at one point. We have to accept ourselves for making those decisions because at those times, though we did not know the purpose, nor did that we know that those people would do the things that they did to us, those people allow us to grow up as individuals and now we're very mature people we no longer see the way we used to and because of some people come in our lives we we sometimes change because of that it's not good to always change based on how a person treats you but that's my great opinion i believe that you shouldn't change you know based on a person and how they treat you you should definitely always remain who you are be a very good person if you're a very good good person and you know um bad things get retribution and their time will come karma comes for anybody okay if you do good things good things will come your way but if you do bad things retribution is really coming and karma will you know have its own but karma has good and bad as well so it's good karma it's bad karma can't just say karma is just bad because all things have a balance and you know, we'll be not yin without yang. So, but like I was saying, you guys want to get a better understanding of who you are and get a get greater enlightenment of that, you know, because we're at a place in our lives. We're in June of 2020 and there's so much to be accomplished. There's so much to do. There's so much I want to do. There's so much I want to accomplish, but I got to remove the I. Because it is about me and it is about my purpose and it's about my dream. But it also is about the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is helping people and expanding myself to be in a position of an open-minded state that I can help more people. So instead of focusing so much on what I can obtain, I can focus on what I, what I have now and what I've overcome already and what I've already obtained and what I've already accomplished and use those very things to push myself to the next level, right? And it, it requires like focus, it requires some consistency, it requires so much. And I'm working on so much and sometimes I don't always see my hard work being, I just don't always see my efforts a thousand times fall back, you know? I don't necessarily do it for the reward. I never really do it for what I'm obtaining. I do it so I can achieve the goal that I'm trying to achieve. I mean, everybody has a goal. Everybody has a dream. We all are trying to obtain and uh, you know achieve something. I personally do it to help people and to become financially you know uh, 
financially free from a job. I no longer want to work for an employer. I want to be a full-time entrepreneur. I am on a journey that is longevity. Okay, longevity. And I can't give up on it right now because I'm never planning to. I have a longevity mindset and I will stick to whatever I start because that's who I am. Now, despite win, lose, fall, fail, I'm still going to be in it because it's not about how fast, who's far ahead. It doesn't matter how far, how, how far behind I am. What matters is, is I pace myself. If, is I give my best is it and that I give my best best not like my best like my greatest effort to make sure that I get what I deserve you know it's not about winning it's about getting what you deserve and sometimes people often look to winning as money and and money has a lot to do with the way we live and sometimes winning can be winning can be anything but it's not always about winning it's about getting what you deserve and you only deserve what you put forth based on effort based on your work ethics based on who you are based on what you can do based on what you're willing to do and that's how what you deserve should be really determined, not based on status quo. Uh, you know, people shouldn't have advantages of winning in life, but they do. And the focus is you just want to wrap your mind up around what you can do more for yourself and get more focused on putting yourself in a better position of a different perspective of thinking about your future your well-being the totality of that and that's just very important you guys want to do that okay you guys want to think about your future the things you want your dreams your goals and you want to really work on that you really want to sit down and work on those things and focus on you and your relationship with yourself and just fall in line with those things and when you figure those things out you'll stop being stagnant and you won't feel like you're um you know, like you're not getting anywhere. You'll fully understand and you'll find enlightenment and you'll overcome it. Because we overcome everything we go through eventually. At some point. We don't go through it forever. But eventually we'll get overcome it. We'll get through it. And we'll rise above it. So I want you guys to have a prosperous day. Peace, love, and happiness. And let this day be delightful. I know I've not been on top of my videos here lately, but I'm really working on some other stuff that is going to be helpful for you guys. So I'm really thinking about you guys. And if you guys miss me, I miss you guys too. But I just thinking about the future followers and people who is going to be subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, subscribe, comment, share, like, you know, talk to me down in the comments, engage, you know, guys, I am very big on engagement, you know, let's talk, you know, I'm all about communicating and networking. It's about time we get together and make some plans. Love you guys.